plays, quite honestly, you know, and and uh, just didn't score enough points. Sure. You know, there's the adjustments that are going to take place in week one for all of us of what exactly we've seen from this team, where the pressure's coming from, what are the different cover structures we're going to see over the course of the game, and you make your adjustments, and I thought we settled in well. You know, we had the four turnovers in the first half, obviously, which isn't ideal, but we were still in the game. We felt like we were still in the game. I settled back, believed that, um, gave ourselves opportunities to, to take leads. We just didn't quite get it done. Sure, we, we feel like we have a lot of that stuff in our bag anyway. Um, so there, there's adjustments that, that we felt like we, we made as the, as the game went. They did a good job rolodexing our coverages, you know, to where you can't always predict what you're going to get. So um, you got to have some things that beat all coverages. You can't just always attack one coverage. Um, but again, I thought Joe did a good job being patient, taking the shots that were there, first cover two, and then checking them all down when, when we didn't have the best play call. Did you have roll decks? Roll decks, like roll through coverages. Yeah. Yeah. He made some plays for us. You know, he's he's been a guy that understands our system and has been here a number of years, playing this system for a number of years. Um, so we've got that confidence with Trent Taylor put a lot too. You know, with TV kind of cramping at times. Um, Sam Lee Morgan, we feel comfortable. He has a jump in there too. So we, we feel good about the the depth of our receivers. I don't know what to do, making the plays when the numbers called, and, and Joe's gonna trust in them. That's about how you learn a lot about your team in week one. What did you yeah. feel like you learned about your team? Yesterday? That they responded to adversity like I'd hope they would, and. No finger pointing when, when you're down, ball fourth down. You don't want to take an incompletion there. Um, and then the second play, when the turnovers do come, we don't want them. The defense of Dak only playing six snaps, was that opponent scheme-based or was it easy man? Yeah, there's always going to be packages he's involved in. Sometimes it's going to be more, sometimes it'll be the same. You know, So I think that's going to continue to evolve every week. Uh, the good problem that we have is we have a lot of really good players on defense that, that can play a lot of different roles. Um, you're talking about Trey Flowers. You're talking about Akeem Davis K. There are other games, but I feel like we're in a really good spot with our defensive personnel, where um, we don't have to just just manufacture opportunities just to say we manufacture opportunities. We're in a good spot. We got really good starters, and we got really good roles for our depth players. Yesterday and today, you mentioned that the one missing Well, it wasn't due to lack of effort. You see some really good good rips, good hammers from our defense, um, close to getting our balls. You know, our hands on some balls um, in the past game um, that really just missed. You know, we just a little off target. And we just couldn't quite get there. Uh, but, I, but I thought that it wasn't due to lack of effort. You, you can pull a lot of the plays out um, where I thought, man, we are really close to getting this ball away. Trey Hendrickson almost had one where he ran down Mitch on a third down. I saw Logan Wilson on the trick play that they ran down the three-yard line. He's almost getting that ball out. So, um, again, just keep hammering it. We, we, you know, the the – talk we had before the game is really the Minnesota Vikings game last year. We won the turn about a one to nothing that was on the last defensive play of the game. So sometimes it doesn't matter when it comes. You just got to try to get it done. And we had faith that we'd get one eventually. Um, just didn't work out that way. Signed, uh, number one rated long snapper in college football last year. You've got him on the practice squad, which is sometimes unusual to keep an extra one. Right. Feeling pretty blessed that he's available if Clark is Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's that's the benefit of having 16 guys on the practice squad now is you got the luxury of being able to carry a guy like that that um, made a really strong impression on us in college, made a strong impression on us in training camp. Um, so now he gets this opportunity potentially, and we expect him to make the most of it. we got a lot of trust in him. Obviously, Clark was the veteran that we felt great about, um, but if Kyle's number's called, we expect him to step up to the challenge. Yeah, you mentioned a little bit of what's going on that one play. You know, overall, how would you assess the number line Well, they, they play fast. They, they can diagnose quickly. They're around the ball a lot. Um, they help with the communication around everybody else. So they, they stand out in the running in the pass game. Just two really savvy, aware players. Um, I, I think just watching them play and really just watching our defense as a whole, I was, I was really impressed with how our defense started the season. You talked about training camp about adding responsibility for Jamar Chase in the offense. How important did that end up being with the different ways you were able to get a little bit easier? Well, had to move him around as the game went. You know, when you lose T, um, you know, you, you move him not from just the stuff that we game plan, but um, just switching his position at times to make sure he was he was around the ball. And uh, he did a really good job handling that, you know, and, and so that's credit to him of just understanding the full scope of the offense, not just dialing in on X, you know. And, and so 
Uh, I thought he handled it really well. I, I think that's you know something we'll continue to do with all of our receivers, making sure we're maximizing their abilities. But I thought Jamar handled it really well and played well. Trey talked about the aggressiveness. You guys like the aggressiveness that Joe has. Mm-hmm. How do you balance that though when defense is all playing cover two, maybe trying to bait you into tight windows? How do you manage that aggressiveness with maybe taking the right risk to get that? Yeah, you be patient, take the check downs. You know, and that's what he did. I mean, have you, is that a conversation you guys had going into the season? Is that something you feel like you need to talk to him about? No. No, no, I, I trust him. He, he's, he's an outstanding decision maker. And um, so, again, those are all these conversations you have in the quarterback room. How are we going to attack coverages? What does this defense play? we got to be ready for this. Um, but, again, I, I got a lot of faith in him. He sees the defense really well. Um, I thought that, that, that he did a really nice job settling in the game. You mentioned Joe might want that second, the first pass and touch back. What, when you went back and watched the other game sequences and you talked about cleaning up, is there any decision, regardless of the result, that you wanted back that you made? For me? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, obviously just letting the play settle on the one-yard line to Jamar and, and letting that be a touchdown as opposed to getting no points in four plays. Uh, that's one that's one you want back, and, and that one just falls on me, to be quite honest with you. Um, so that's something to clean up. And then, you know, the, the snap at the end of the game on the punt, um, it's just an unusual situation the way we got the punt team out there. You know, it was um, a little bit of confusion with where's the ball going to be spotted, what down is it. What should we be doing? Going for it? Kicking a field goal? Oh, we need to be punting. Um, kind of at the last second. You know, the clock's running. we got to punt. And so you don't get a chance to sit there on the sideline and say, hey, listen, guys, let's believe this. That you're communicating onto the field to do that. And, and uh, you know, so um, that's an area of improvement. It's kind of an unusual situation. I think someone in here asked me yesterday, how much do you work on that situation with your backup long snap? It's not very often. Uh, I will say this about Mitch. You know, it's what I told him after the game is nobody – in the NFL wants the job as the backup long snapper. And he he stepped up and stepped up to the plate and gave us an opportunity to win the game. And I was really proud of him for that because that is not a not a job that anyone in the history of football has ever volunteered for. So what do you have a problem? Do you just throw the flag in case in that situation? Like what do you do to try like, what, yeah, how the, do you do that differently if you sure. have Yeah, the just slow down. You know, slow down and um, I initially thought you know, what, what I could see is, is a bunch of incomplete hand signals. And it, it's literally the worst field position in football for me to be able to see over there to that far pylon through a bunch of people. And so just trying to gauge um, that we're not discussing an incomplete pass, we're discussing possible touchdowns. Slow it down, let us see the call. I can just do a better job um, taking the information I'm hearing and giving it to Joe. I was quick to spit out, hey, let's get on the ball and snap the play here to beat their challenge potentially before realizing that's not the issue. Um, you know, at the time, we, we still feel good about it. There wasn't a great replay that we would have seen in the booth that would have told us touchdown. That, that replay didn't show up until after the play was snapped. So that part wouldn't have helped us. But just, um, you know, of course, there's always regret when you leave seven points on the field and you don't score. So, again, just, just it's a unique situation that came up. i got to do a better job managing it the next time it does.